What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to do a quick little video here, trying to keep up with my YouTube devotionals. I'm actually going to be filming today, just here in a little bit, with my good friend Jordan Bryce. Uh, many of you know him. And so we're going to be doing a couple of longer videos on the prophetic, and it's going to be amazing. So please check back here in the next couple of days for some of those videos. I'm going to really be ramping things up on YouTube over time. Um, take my time, but uh, going to be, you know, going after that. So anyway, I did a message last night at Love Revival Monday Night Service. You should totally check it out on Facebook Live. Um, but I did a message on the habitation of the presence of God. And I guarantee it was from a perspective you've probably never heard before. It was a lot of new information, even for me. Um, one of our big things at Low Revival is uh, revelation out of the word of God that brings encounter. And so anyway, I was studying out the Tabernacle of Moses. Uh, I've been studying out a lot of just different verses. I've been reading it, rereading it. I think there's some really interesting keys that help us understand and give context to what God is doing today in the presence of God. One of the things I was studying out, so in Exodus 31, I believe it is, verse 1, um, the Lord tells Moses uh, about the temple or uh, the tabernacle. And I'll do another video on this later, but the Lord gives throughout Exodus five primary uh, titles about the tabernacle and each one has a specific meaning meaning that kind of describes what the presence of God would be like in those places or the purpose but one of the things I thought was really cool really interesting something I was studying up on uh there in Exodus 31 uh it talks about uh Bazel the son of Uri and, you know, obviously we read the Bible. I've talked about this before. I think in my last video, I talked about this a little bit, but we read the Bible in its original context, right? And that's really important. But we can also read the Bible in a prophetic context, a prophetic lens. Um, and I don't mean like end times prophecy, but in the sense of what is God saying through some of these minuscule details? Um, and especially in Old Testament, we've got to look for Jesus and everything. The Lord can speak in, in layers through scripture. So anyway, Bezel, son of Uri. The name Bezel means in the shadow of. Uh, it's reminiscent, makes you think of probably Psalm 91.1. It says, blessed is man who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. It's this whole shadow passage being under the influence of the Lord, being under the anointing in the presence of God. Uh, but it says he's the son of Uri. Uri means light or splendor, splendor of the Lord. And uh, I was just thinking about this. I just think it's so cool. The way I said it last night, what I was thinking about, what I what I was studying up is, um, so the father, right, Uri, he, his name means splendor. When we think of splendor, we think of worship. We think of worshiping him and the beauty of holiness, saying, Lord, you're beautiful. You're amazing. And we know from scripture that when we praise the Lord, when we worship the Lord, it releases the presence of God. Second Chronicles 5, Second Chronicles 7, uh, the you know, Psalms, when we praise the Lord, he's enthroned, he rides in on the praises of his people. So your eye, again, uh, means splendor, right? So worship produces, or you could even say births, um, it bursts the shadow, the presence of God. And Uri, uh, he, he obviously produces or, you know, um, uh, gives birth to his mother, obviously, but gives birth to the presence of God. Uri, the one who, would, uh, or Bazel, the one who would, uh, build the temple, the tabernacle of the Lord. And, uh, I just think that's so cool. So I want to encourage you. It's from that little key and just a Hebrew name, your worship, your praise brings about the presence of God. It builds God a habitation for his glory, a resting place, a place for him to come and enthrone in your life. So hope you have a great day. 
get caught up in the splendor of God and enjoy the presence of God. Adios.